In this video, you will learn something called index of hydrogen deficiency. Or some people term it as the degree of unsaturation. This technique is very useful when you're given a skeleton structure and you're trying to see what's the chemical formula very quickly. So, we know that all alkanes, they are saturated molecules, which means they do not have any double bonds, triple bonds. It's all single covalent bond. Carbon-carbon single bond and carbon-hydrogen single bond. So if you take a look at this molecule here, I draw for you. Four carbon, again revision. One, two, three, four. That makes a butane. And we know that but means having four carbon, so the formula will be C4H10. Alkane molecules are totally saturated, so the degree of unsaturation is zero. If we take a look at this molecule, this is known as 1-butene. One, one because the carbon-carbon double bond occurs between the first and the second carbon, so 1-butene. Now for this case, it is observed that there is one degree of unsaturation. How do we get one degree? Basically, I see one pi bond. One pi bond, all right? So in order to calculate these degrees of unsaturation, we need to use formula to do it. We know that alkene has a formula of C, CnH2n. So in this case, when you substitute n equals to 4, that is a C4H8. Now what we do is, to get one degree, we take the number of carbon, which can be easily counted, we get the alkane formula, which in this case becomes a C4H10. Then we take the alkane number of hydrogen atoms and subtract with the actual number of hydrogen that we have which is 8, and take this number, divide by 2. What do you have now? 1, exactly. That's why it is 1 degree of unsaturation, which means we could have 1 pi bond in the molecule. Now, these degrees of unsaturation arises from two occasions. Here, we have looked through that it could come from a pi bond, or in this case, This is not just an ordinary square or diamond, all right? Again, every junction is a carbon atom. So four of them, if you look at the formula and draw out all the hydrogen atoms, this gives you the same chemical formula of C4H8. So what does this tell you between these two molecules? Different drawings, but same molecular formula. We call them isomers. Isomers are molecules with the same chemical formula, but different structural formula. So, in this case, I do not see a pi bond, but we still have one degree of unsaturation. That means the degree comes from a ring. You see, one enclosed ring also contribute a degree of unsaturation. Okay. Let me try this again. For C4H8, there could be another drawing of a molecule isomer. A cyclopropane with a methyl group. You see? 1, 2, 3, 4. 4 carbon and with 1 degree of unsaturation due to the occurrence of a ring. We know that these two are isomers instantly. It's very quickly. Or I can give you something like this. Are these two isomers? Yes, because you can quickly tell yourself that, oh, I have got the same number of carbon. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. And there are no other heteroatoms. It's only hydrogen, and both has one degree of unsaturation. So this must be isomer.